I'm going to be showing you today how to use a USB flash drive with the uh, camera, iPad camera connection kit. And I have a mini SD card from my Blackberry, uh, also through the iPad camera connection kit. And I want to be showing you how to take files from both of them and put them on your iPad and take them off of your iPad and put them back on your storage device. So first thing you need is you need a jailbroken iPad, which I have done, and you can do that very easily through Spirit Jailbreak. Um, it's very, very simple, um, and they give you pretty clear-cut directions online. So as you can see, I've jailbroken my iPad, and I have quite a, quite a few cool features, like um, I have the InfiniDock down here, and just in case you were wondering, uh, there is a glitch on the iPad I found. Say I rotate it back to portrait, and then I can rotate it back, and now it won't let me scroll. It does like the scroll snap, and it's just a glitch. Just hold down your icons till they buzz, and you can scroll through all of them again, and then just push the home button, and you're set. Kind of annoying, but not really a deal breaker. Um, then I also have the SBS or the SB settings, which is really really handy for multitasking for. Um, turning brightness and everything. You'll find that there's a lot of different features you can use it for. Keeps track of all your processes. Um, but first things first, uh, in order to utilize um, your USB stick and your SD card, you need iFile. And that's what I have right here. You can see right down there, this blue icon. So you need to get that from Cydia. And once you download it, I don't know if that's kind of blurry, you can see my camera tries to focus. Okay. Hopefully it will stop auto-focusing. Settle down. Okay. So this is the main directory of iFile. And from here it's very simple. I will go ahead and just get out of iFile for a second. I'm going to first start off with the USB. So I'm going to plug in the USB. If you can't see that, there you go, my USB is working. And it's going to pop up with a little dialog box saying the attached USB is not supported. That's good, it means it's working. Go back into iFile. So, what you need to do is you need to go down to VRAR down here. Uh, sorry, my camera is messing up. Okay, go on VRAR. And there it is, mount one. So just click on that, and boom, there's everything that's on my flash drive right there. Okay, so now let's say you wanna take something from docs to go Let's just start there. You need to go to mobile, click on it, go to applications. Now let's find docs to go here. All right, there's docs to go Click on Documents, and you'll see everything in your docs to go right here on this file system. So let's just say you need to go to Edit. If you can't see, just push the Edit button up there in the corner. All right, then I'll just click on one of my files here. It's selected. Now you need to hit this Export button down here in the corner. It says copy link, so copy it. Then just hit, sorry I know I'm moving this around a lot. Hit done. All right, now go back out. All the way out to the main file again. Back to your mount drive. Mount one. And then just go back up to that edit function up in the corner up here. Okay, so I'm on edit, so it brings up all your little circles. Then again, you see that little export button down to the right hand side on the corner? Press that, and it says paste. Just paste it, and there you go. You can see that dreams docs right there in my file. Just hit done up in the top corner, and now it's on my flash drive. Pretty awesome. All right, and it works the exact same way for your SD card. 
So if you don't want to keep watching this video just to see how I did it with the SV SD card, it works the exact same way, um, but I'll show you anyway. Now we're going to use the SD, the mini SD, this is a micro SD from my um, Blackberry Storm. I'm just going to put it in here, go back in the iFile here. All right. It's not, okay. Go on VRAR, and it still has the same thing. Mount from v VRAR, and there it is, mount one. And there's everything on my BlackBerry. Now I can go into my BlackBerry files. So here's everything I have. I put like a bunch of music on my BlackBerry. There's all the songs that I have on my BlackBerry. Here's just my documents. And now I'm going to show you just how to take something off of your flash drive or mini micro SD card. And it's the same thing. Just go to edit up in the corner. All right. And then you're just going to select. Here's I got a resume here. All right. And then go ahead, go down to your bottom corner with that export icon. Click it, click copy link. Then just hit done up in the top, uh, the top right here. Hit done. Okay. Now just get all the way back out. So just get out there, get out there, get out of my mount drive. Zero. There. Okay. Then you need to go back to mobile. So. Let's go back there. Mobile applications. Go back to I have I can do AirShare, Reattle Docs, all those general ones that you have. You can do it from any one of them. Docs to go is just you know because you can edit the document and it's all nice. So just going into documents. There's all my documents in there. Again, go to the edit button. I know this is very monotonous, but I just want to be thorough. For all of you who don't know how to do this, you probably caught on by now, but I just like to be thorough. And there you go. Paste and boom. There's my resume just right there. And that's how you do it. Pretty simple. Uh, it took me a while to figure out because I couldn't find actually, there's probably videos out there, but I couldn't find any videos on actually taking files from your USB and from a micro SD and putting them on and taking them off your iPad but it's really easy I figured it out and now you know so I hope this helps please rate my video and let me know what you think alright out